and welcome back to the sock tutorials. My name's Tina. I hope you're having a lovely day. So, so far with the sock we have got the cuff, the leg and we've just done the heel flap at the back. So now today we're going to do the heel turn which is this part just here and we're going to do like a soft triangle shape to make that heel turn round. So we're just going to do some short rows. So I'll talk you through it and we'll see how we go. So so on the instructions it says with wrong side facing, so you want the back of the work. Continue to knit flat on the back needle where we're just doing on the 9 inch needles. So we're just going to be using this part. So it's just these stitches we were working on before. So row 1 is slip 1, purl either 14 for the small size, 16 for the medium size or 18 for the large size. So we're just going to slip that first stitch. We're going to be purling so you want your yarn at the front of the work. So just slip that first stitch and then because I'm doing the medium size I'll be doing 16. So one, two, three, So if you hear funny noises, my cats are having a bit of a half hour at the moment. <laughs> I thought they would settle down, but they haven't so far. Then purl, purl two together. So just put your needle through two. Oops, just lost it. Needle through two, wrap it round, and just do a normal purl, taking two stitches. So you're reducing it to one stitch, and then purl one. And then we're going to turn the work around the other way. And then we're going to start the second row. So we're going to slip one and then knit three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to slip, slip, knit. So slip slip and then you take your needle through those two stitches that you just slipped take your yarn round as if to knit and then pull that back needle through and up through those stitches and slide it off and then knit one and turn the work. So now we're on row three. Slip one. Then purl to first stitch before the gap. So purl along. So 
So we're purling along and then you'll see where there's a gap where you've purled two together on the other side before. You see where there's two where you've on the first row you purled two together that's made a gap so you just purl up to that gap. So what we're going to do is purl two together across that gap. So to close up that gap, purl two again and then purl another stitch and then turn your work around and then row four is slip one then knit to the first one before the gap There you can see the gap there. So one before the gap, slip, slip, knit across the gap. So we're going to slip one, slip two, and then knit those two together to join that gap up. And then knit one. And turn the work again. It says, Repeat rows three and four until all of the heel stitches have been worked, ending with row four. And then we should have 16 on the small size, 18 on the middle size, or 20 stitches remaining on this needle. So we're going to carry on. So we're just doing rows three and four now. So row three is slip one. And then purl to one stitch before the gap. There you can see the gap. And so we're going to purl two together, purl an extra one, and then turn the work round. So that's row three. I'm going to start keeping the count because otherwise I'll get mixed up. <laughs> so row four, slip one, whoops, and then knit to the one before the gap. Really, it's quite easy to memorise. I've just got the memory of a goldfish, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you can see which is the knit row and which is the pearl row. So we're knitting one before the gap. And then we're going to slip, slip and knit. So we're taking the left hand needle through those two stitches and then taking the yarn round the back, round the back needle and then pulling it through and up to make it into one stitch and then knit an extra one. Turn it around, slip that first one. You've got a funny stitch there. Yes, I did. Stitch two together. Then we're going to slip the first one. Then purl to the gap again. So 
that's one stitch before the gap and then just purl two together and then purl an extra one and turn and just slip that first one knit all the way along till you get to that gap And then you're going to slip, slip, knit, that one on one side of the gap, one on the other, and then yarn, sorry, needle through both those slip stitches around the back, pull it down and up through the centre to make it into one stitch, and then knit another one. Turn it around, slip it over. Hold to the gap again. Getting a little bit further every time now. So the one before the gap, then it's just purl those two together. Oops, it's quite fiddly. Then purl an extra one and turn it round. Then we're going to slip that one and go back again with the knit stitches. Two, one stitch before the gap. And then slip, slip, left hand needle through the front, yarn round the back, pull it down and up to the centre. And then one more knit. And if you have a look at what you've been doing, you will see that it's turning a corner. Can you see that? Try and get the lights on it. So that is now turning the corner, which is what yours should be doing. So it's taking shape. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> so it's working, it's working. So we're back onto the um, wrong side of the work. So we're going to slip one and then purl all the way along. So we get to that one stitch for the gap again. It's starting to feel like a work in the underground. Mind the gap, please, mind the gap. So long we go. One stitch before the gap and then we're going to purl those two together to join up the gap. Oops, try again. One more purl and turn it around and just 
drop the stitch. That's it. Got it. Slip it again and knit all the way along. There's my gap just there. So the one before the gap, so I'm going to slip it, slip it, needle through, yarn around the back, down and up through the centre. And then knit one more. And turn. Slip one. And pull back again. How are you getting on? Is it okay? See, when you break it down into the different little sections, it's not as scary as it first seems when you first look at the pattern. There's a lot of repetition in each part. So we're going to carry on along. So one before the gap. And then we're going to just pull those two together and pull one and turn. And we've got one more row to go, I think. So slip that first one and then knit across. And then we're going to slip, slip, knit. And then knit one. And that is your heel turn. So you should have a nice little heel turn there. So that's where we're going to leave it for now and I shall see you in the next video to pick up the stitches and to start doing work on the gusset which will be, we've just done this part here so now we're going to be picking up the stitches around so we can do this decrease here to go from about 20 more stitches all the way around to the back to your stitches that you started off with so in my case that would be 64 stitches so I'll see you again soon to carry on finishing the heel off thank you for joining me and I look forward to spending some time with you next time so for now goodbye <laughs>